Hello, and welcome to Courageous Money Conversations. I'm your host, Eric Ovid Donaldson, and I'm joined today by author, master life coach, and spiritual teacher, Kevin Cottrell Ross, better known as Rev Kev, who's been featured in national television, newspaper, blogs, podcasts, including Oprah, as an expert empowering millions of everyday people to live extraordinary dreams. We're here today to talk about his new book, Courageous Money Conversations Journal. Welcome. So glad to be here with you. Thanks so much for having me. Well, for these viewers who are unfamiliar with who you are, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you can help us have a courageous money conversation. Um, it's a great question. I grew up poor on the south side of Chicago, and I've always had a big dream in my heart, including um, following one of the biggest dreamers, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., to Morehouse College, where I would graduate. And it was at that time and place and space, having achieved some of my life's boldest dreams and breaking out of the cycle of, of mental and emotional and actual poverty, that um, I discovered some principles along the way and, and had some exposure to some amazing mentors who uh, helped me to see that um, our mindset mm -hmm. has a great deal to do with how well we prosper. And also having had the opportunity to interact with some uh, powerful mentors and teachers who helped me to see that, that the intersection between our spirituality and our finances did not necessarily have to be in conflict. Mm -hmm. And so I want to talk to uh, spiritual people and everyday people about being spiritual and prosperous at the same time and in good standing with God. I don't think that there is necessarily any conflict. And so my, my mission is to inspire and empower everyday people to live extraordinary dreams, to design lives of purpose, passion, peace, and prosperity. And I've been doing that for over 20 years with people from all across the country and all around the world, literally, um, coaching them in seminars, teaching in churches, uh, lecturing in colleges. And it's been my passion to really uh, have everyday people live extraordinary dreams. And so uh, Courageous Money Conversations is just one more cut in, in a long journey of empowering and inspiring people with practical tools they could use to um, overcome circumstances that may have them stuck, break through um, erroneous thinking that uh, holds them back, and really give them practical tools to, to design and live the life of their dreams. So that's what I'm up to. Yeah, I want to talk about those tools and, mm -hmm. and, and also want to talk a little bit about your books because this isn't your first rodeo. Mm -hmm. uh, you've had uh, Designer Life, the mm -hmm. book Designer Life, yeah. and also a book prior to this one called Courageous Conversation Journal. Yeah. Uh, and, and you introduced journaling as a, uh, as a wonderful tool for personal empowerment and transformation. Can you tell us a little bit about journaling? Yeah, I think... What happens in our, you know, work-obsessed world, in our um, doggy dog culture, is that we are constantly busy and on the go, but we don't have opportunities or we don't take opportunities to fall back and reflect. And there's something very powerful about reflecting and, and looking at Ourselves. Someone said the unexamined life is not worth living. And so journaling is this ability for us to be able to take a look at our inner conversations. We have the ability to think about what we're thinking about. And anytime you can actually think about what you're thinking about, then you can actually change the way you think. And when you change the way you think, you can change the circumstances that you find yourself in. And so the journals and the process of journaling is helping people to look at how they're thinking. One or two things are happening. The thinking that you have, the inner conversation that you have, is either talking you into the life of your dreams 
or talking you out of a life of your dreams. And we're all living inside of a conversation. Some of us are living in fearful conversations. Some of us are living in stuck conversations. Some of us are living in abundant conversations. And so I want to help people through journaling to examine those inner conversations that are either talking them into the life of their dreams or talking them out of their, the life of their dreams. They're talking to them into uh, purpose, passion, peace, and prosperity, or they're, it's talking them into poverty and limitation and stuckness. And I, I think it's time for a courageous conversation. So that's mm -hmm. that's why we're using journaling as a process. Now, in this book, Courageous Money Conversations Journal, you introduce a term that I, I need some some clarity on okay. called uh, pre-existing money conditions. What are those? You know, we're all familiar with uh, pre-existing health conditions, but we we seldom look at our pre-existing money conditions, that we all come out of a money conversation. The conversations that surrounded us and formed us um, and that helped to shape our perspective around money. Some of those conditions have us ashamed of money. Some of those conditions have us uh, blaming other people. So some people have money blame, money shame, money guilt. And some people, even with a lot of money, feel guilty for having the money because somewhere along the way they picked up this idea that um, having too much is, is a sign of bad character. Um, some have been taught that, um, that they were born to be poor. In fact, in certain countries around the world, their caste systems and that, that, that pre-existing money conditioning, that conversation that people were born in shapes the way they see their own potential. Okay, and so a pre-existing money condition can be discovered when you walk through this process of journaling and really get to see what were the conversations around me that I inherited growing up about money. Is money scarce? Is money abundant? Is money a bad thing? Is money a good thing? Is, is money hard to get? Is it hard to keep? Or is it easy to get? These establish the kind of money mindset that we have. And our money mindset determines the kind of experiences that we have with money. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can see now how it does take courage to really look at those pre-existing conditions and our money mindsets. Well, when you so do that, because when you do that, you might have to confront the mentality of those that reared you. You might have to confront the philosophy, the, the theology, the religion. You might have to confront mm -hmm. a lot of, of, of what's underneath what makes you you. And that even takes courage. Yeah. So, so what kind of support do you provide for those who actually use this wonderful journal? So we, we created what's called the Courageous Money Conversations Journal and Webinar 30-Day Challenge. So we've created a, a process where we do it together so that you don't mm -hmm. go it alone. You know, my, my mission is to support people with getting from where they are to where they want to be and, and short uh, um, and cut the length of time preoccupied in the thick of thin things down. And, it, you know, it's one thing to go alone. It's another thing to go together. And so we'll take the 30-day the Courageous Money Conversations journal together in a webinar over a four-week period, okay? And everyone will have an opportunity to work with the Courageous Conversations Money Journal and be guided through a series of processes that will help you to walk through it. So you don't have to do it alone. We'll look at the 10, what I call 10 scarcitudes. 10 attitudes of scarcity that keeps us from prospering. And when I'm talking about money, I'm not just talking about uh, physical and digital currency. I'm talking about all good, anything that allows you to experience freedom of agency in our world, okay? And so having that ability to move freely um, is related to having a courageous money conversation. And so it, it's a process. We'll go through it together once a week for four weeks. 
um, and we'll walk through the journal. And it's this is not an easy process. Mm-hmm. That, that's the thing I want you to hence know. the courage. It's, hence the courage because you're really going to examine yourself. You're going to take a look at the big questions. You're going to take a look at there. There are big questions that you'll get to confront yourself with and take yourself on about. But those big questions are going to unearth for you the kind of answers that will guide you toward being um, happy, joyous, successful, and freed up in your mind to reimagine the life that you desire. But I want to look at the money mindset channel, the money mindset problem, and and the preconditioning, the money pre-existing conditions that people have, so that we can then take people to a whole new level of enjoyment, prosperity, and and happiness in their lives. But you still haven't told us how people can sign up. Well, right now, you're all welcome to sign up from all around the country because it's a webinar. So people can sign up from the comfort of their own homes right here on this website. There are links available that will take them to be able to register. And when people register, it's as simple as one, two, three. They'll get the book sent to them. Uh, we'll have it autographed for you if, if you make sure you leave us that information. And also, uh, we have a, a series of bonuses that we want to get you so that you are prepared for the 30-day journey. So when you, when you sign up, you're going to receive... Uh, a Money Courage Now Power Pack. That's what we call it. Money Courage Now Digital Power Pack that you'll receive that's going to help you to start kind of um, preconditioning yourself for a powerful, courageous money conversation with me and and some other folks from around the, the country and world who will be participating. It's going to be a lot of fun. Wonderful. One last question for you, Rev Kev. Yes. Is this my copy? No, it's not your copy. You you need to get your own copy with money. (laughs) And I will. And I will. That's the end of our show. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Rev Kev. We'll see you next time. Be, Be courageous.